they, they can't all be winners. I'm Emily, and this is my partner Jordan. We've been travelling the world full time for the last seven months, and our favourite way to see a new place is through their food. So far, we've eaten our way through Asia, India, Egypt, and parts of Europe. And today, we're trying traditional Bulgarian food. Uh -oh. Good morning, it is our third and final full day here in beautiful Sofia. We were here yesterday and we did a tour up to the Rila Monastery and the tour guide told us that Sofia is responsible for 25% of Bulgaria's population. So today, a working day, there will be 2 million people in town. It's a massive, massive city but there's so many people on every street. It's crazy. We are going to spend today trying as many different traditional Bulgarian dishes as we can and we're starting of course with a traditional breakfast. Bulgarian breakfast. It is Benitsa and Boza. Benitsa, it kind of reminds me automatically of Burek. It looks like it's a filo pastry stuffed with feta. We have got a cheese one and I heard that the spinach is really good so we got one of those as well. Might try the spinach. Oh, it's so like golden and crunchy and flaky. It does really remind me of a burrek. It's like nice and greasy, the pastry is really flaky. And the cheese, I believe it's serene cheese, which is local to Bulgaria. It's kind of got like a feathery vibe to it, but the spinach adds a nice little hint of flavour as well. Wow. So last time we were in the Balkans, we fell in love with burrek, like cheese burrek. We tried the Bosnian burrek, which is like a meat burrek. Everything we can get our hands on had it every single day. So if this is anything like that, no. Oh. Pastry is very, very similar. A little bit more flaky on the outside than what I remember the burrito to be. But the cheese is different. It's got a bit of a, I don't know, it's not an unusual tang, it's just different to the tang that I experienced with the other burrito. I don't know how to describe it. But. And to wash it down, we got a boza drink, which is a fermented wheat drink. I've seen heaps of people sort of say that they love watching foreigners try that for the first time, which I feel like is like us Australians watching people try Vegemite for the first time. But I do think we're a bit meaner about it because we slather it on it or like, have this. <laughs> And it's supposed to go with your benitza in the morning. It is super thick and like almost not a chocolatey flavour, but it looks like really creamy. It's a super unique flavour. There is a bit of sweetness coming from somewhere. And then it's super savoury, almost like beans or bread. I guess wheat has that flavour. It's not actually that bad. In my head, it's not processing as a drink. It's more of a soup. <laughs> I don't mind it. It feels like it would be healthy as well. Emotional roller coaster saying that it kind of looks like chocolate. It certainly doesn't smell like chocolate. I actually like it. It is very thick, almost like a. It's gonna sound dumb too. Like a, <laughs> like a custard, thinner consistency, but like a custardy sort of like. There's a sweetness in there. It's good. It's really not bad. Mm. I was expecting to hate it. Mm. I was expecting like really strong fermented, like a really bad beer that's kind of also milky, but that's pretty good. Might get it again. Really unexpected plot twist. I think the spinach is better than the cheese. Did not expect to say that because I fell in love with the cheese burrito. Spinach wins when it's a benitza. That 
That was delicious. Benitsta, burek, whatever you want to call it, phyllo pastry and cheese, I'm there. Amazing breakfast, but we kept the portions small because there's another thing we really want to try. Not technically a breakfast, but... Yeah. And we have had it before, but this is very different. Cold in Bulgaria today. Dogs. Oh, he's so happy. There's a dog in his off lead, and he's so happy. What is it? It's a national theatre. It's really pretty the red colour and then all the gold trimming. Wow. Sofia has so many people, as we've said before, but it's such a sprawling city because everywhere you look there's like pedestrian zones, parks like this that have heaps of statues which I'm sure have a lot of meaning to them. For a place that has so many people, they make it seem quite open. Such a good idea. I love it. So autumnal. I love that you can see them changing from like the green to the yellow and the red. And I love all the really wintry trees that look like Christmas trees. I love it so much. For our second breakfast, we have come to Makitsa and Coffee for Makitsa and Coffee. The coffee was okay, but Keep Going Places came here and we watched their video to get some inspiration of things we should try today. They had the apple and cinnamon one and it looked incredible, so that's what I've got. Jordan's gone for a banana and a Nutella. This is going to be messy because you have to eat it with your hands. <laughs> So we had Mikitsa for the first time yesterday at the Rila Monastery and it's sort of like a Bulgarian donut but this one with the cinnamon sugar and the caramelized onion it tastes like Christmas. Difficult. I like the topping. Banana and Nutella, obviously chocolate. And banana are a great combo. I don't think it's as good as the one at the Rila Monastery. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Probably won't be. <laughs> They, they can't all be winners. The 16 Lev, it was just kind of disappointing. Like the actual donut from the dough wasn't that good. Mine definitely won, like the flavors on top were amazing. The caramelized onion was <laughs> Caramelized apple was amazing. And then the coffee was like bad. I like chugged mine just to drink it. Yeah, I'd say your topping won. The coffee I'd probably prefer like an instant coffee, unfortunately. Yeah. I don't like to be negative, but you can't always have winners. Knowing that it was 16 Lev and we could have bought 16 amazing hot fresh ones from Rila Monastery. We've got a couple of errands to run and then we're gonna get ready for dinner. Semi-successful. So ages ago in Thailand or Vietnam, we sent home a bunch of our like winter clothes. We were trying to find a jumper for Jordan, but we ended up with two beanies. <laughs> Emily's not feeling too crash hot, so we picked up some cold and flu tablets for her, but she can be back to fighting fit. We got one more stop. Third and final errand. We've picked up a internet SIM card so we can have directions and data while we drive. <laughs> guy from yesterday when he was going over the Bulgaria history he did say that whenever you try and build something new in Bulgaria you always uncover something old. 
And I reckon that's what this is. Yeah, just some second century ruins in the middle of the city. but we are hungry again, so we're gonna go find some more food. This is so cool. Wow. Ooh, it's like a local thing. So in Sofia, doing my research for like where we could try different traditional Bulgarian dishes, it seems like there's three main places people go. The first is Haji Dragonov, and they have like two locations in Sofia. It seems super popular super meat heavy. The second is called like Moma or Momo or something like that and that's a bit more upscale. And the third is where we've decided to go is this really cool traditional tavern that's a little bit further outside of Sofia but it looks really nice and I think we're gonna get three or four different things to try. I'm so excited. Thank you. Cheers. How do you say cheers? Nazdrave. Nazdrave. Thank you. Learning the important words. Nazdrave. Oh, yum. That looks so good. Cheers. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, thank you. The first dish we're getting is the Shopska salad. Looks really, really good. It's actually the national dish of Bulgaria because it's got the colours of the flag in it. It is onion, tomatoes, bell peppers, and the special cheese, the same cheese that we had in our Benitsta this morning, serene cheese. It's got a really good overall flavor. You can tell it was like just put together, it's super fresh. I actually didn't get any peppers in the last one, so I'm gonna glue them one more time. This might be something we need to get the recipe for. That's really good. It's like a perfect salad, only a few ingredients, but really, really good. And that cheese just adds a beautiful tang. Now for taratas, taratas soup. I really, really like that as well. It's a cold soup, so it would be awesome in the summer months and kind of tastes like tzatziki, like there's dill, the cream. I think there's walnuts on there as well. Super fresh, super delicious. This is bean soup served in earthenware and I believe it's traditionally called bok chopra, something like that. And people believe that it came from medieval times because the monks and the nuns used to grow beans and they made bean soup from it. I don't really know why the earthenware is popular but it's super pretty and it's sold everywhere on the streets. Oh, it's really hot. Just a super simple, very well spiced bean soup. Spots. I went for the meatballs. They're not balls, they are flat patties, but Emily tells me they may be filled with something, which is interesting. Not filled with anything, she lied to me. I don't know if this is traditional, but everywhere here and in the Balkans in general, very, very meat focused. There's meat everywhere, meat platters. Seems on their right. That is incredible. It's really, really well cooked. Look at the inside. Just the right amount of pink. Melts in your mouth a little bit. Ooh, it smells super chag, really. Mm. Perfectly cooked and tender, so it's a bit juicy. Perfectly herby, and there's like a char grill that's reminded me of Trivapi from Serbia. Really, really good. Ah, let's keep eating. <laughs> Yum. That was delicious. Chopska salad. Who knew? National dish, underdog of them all. Really, really nice. I would say my favourite was probably the Shopska salad or the Benitsta this morning. Mm. The loser for the day was the Mikitsa. 
Yeah, the I'd donuts. Say so. If you're in Bulgaria, get the Shopska salad. It's delicious. The meatballs are actually worth a try too. They were quite good. Even the bean soup was amazing. It was mm. so like warming and hearty. Mm. Hearty. A bit cold. Yeah. But that's it for our Bulgarian food tour. Tomorrow we are doing a Bulgarian road trip. Woohoo! <laughs>